14 and he was almost 16. And so I kind of like got adopted into his family in Kalihi at that time, but they're originally from um, Big Island and they had moved from Keokaha. But when they were little, they lived in Waimea. And they would, he would always tell me stories about Waimea and uh, especially about this beautiful Garden of Eden when they, where they used to play was their family property at that time called Waiaka. And then their family was buried there. His papa was the last to be buried in Waiaka. And uh, then a few years later, they actually sold the property and moved all of the bodies into their family grave site behind all the churches in Waimea by the, and at the foot of those beautiful rolling hills. But one time, we've been together for 49 years. Next year will be 50 years. And you know, life goes like this, yeah? Life goes like this. And, and we were, uh, at the time, on the downswing economically. And I had nothing of great value to give to him. I can't even remember what occasion it was. And I decided, in my, you know, way, I'm not, I am not um, fluent in Hawaiian, I must say, but in my way, I decided to write him a song about Waiaka. So he would always have it to remember. And then, years later, when we encouraged him to uh, record for us, he did, and then he set this poem uh, into a lovely melody. I would, I would really, really love for you to share it with you. And we shared this story with all of our workshop participants, who are our homeowner for the day. And the thing is, I told them, I am not I am not a master at Hawaiian language, but I am so brave about the love that I felt when I put these words down. Wow, don't they look so pretty? Oh, yeah. 